Okay, so this next one is uh, is really really new, uh, but hopefully ho hopefully this is gonna go well. <laughs> I like to do new things and features because that's fun, right? You guys should get an experience that no other audience has had. Yeah. Every horror film has that one woman who is much too pretty to be there. Some college student played by an actress old enough to have done the Bart Man, like with breasts, like overbaked cupcakes, and hair that belongs in Madame Tussauds. The character is a cheerleader, or student council president, and you know she is popular because she drives a red convertible. I am the other one. The one whose character development consists entirely of the fact that I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> the one who gets about three witty lines. Two fewer than the weightlifting bro who will be deli me 20 minutes in because he just had to go get another beer from the cooler in the obviously haunted garage. <laughs> but still more screen time than the token black guy. <laughs> it starts out in a bar in February, so the moon is early, the sidewalks are ripe for falling, and there is nothing weird about meeting a man who drinks his beer from under a ski mask. <laughs> My phone is broken, because this is a horror film. But I'm the character who thinks this is a wacky romantic comedy and AT&T is my fairy godmother. I'm the character who thinks it's cute when he says he loves me two weeks in. It's heroic and cinematic that he wants to spend every night with me. And I can't hear all the screaming from the rows of velvet seats. Don't go there. It's dangerous. I am off, swimming alone in the dark, wearing heels in the forest, collecting strange antiques. I can't see the audience all shaking their heads, wondering how I can be so oblivious that the bad guy is right there in my apartment and my friends are mysteriously dis disappearing. The night I plan to meet a big group at the club, he demands I take him to the emergency room. He is sick and this is urgent and I have to be with him. He needs me, it's a trap. Of course, the doctors say nothing wrong, but my friends are out of earshot. I'm stuck alone with a man who doesn't let me out of the house and leaves bruises on my wrists and tell me nobody else will ever want me. My friends have left me on purpose and my family doesn't notice I'm gone. It takes three years for the ominous fog to settle in and the music reaches a crescendo. The screen is so dark, the exit signs glow like fire trucks and only then I, don't, I remember I don't need a machete or a jigsaw or a knife in the shower. I just have to be a werewolf. I shed my silver and tear my shirt and go on the attack and he stays put, not even screaming. But I have fangs now, or believe I do, and that's enough to draw blood, to leave him, to leave him. There's no small town sheriff to throw a blanket over my shoulders and tell me it's okay. No hint at a sequel or rolling credits, just me, back in human form, wondering, wasn't I supposed to be the smart one? <laughs> 